having handicapped pets is a lot, a lot of work. Both of them need constant care and it's not like we can leave them there for like more than an hour or two. For Charlie, he needs his diapers changed like every 2-3 hours. And then for Chaplin, we have to express his poo and pee manually every 2-3 hours. It's okay, Chaplin. It's easy to manage when there's two of us, but sometimes when he has to go off on course, then I have to do it alone and uh, it can be quite overbearing. Oh sorry, he's peeing. Yeah. Okay, now we can do a diaper change. But with Charlie, we actually bought him at his rehab center. So he sees a physiotherapist. The package cost itself is also a few thousand. One of the harder things I like constantly explaining like why he's in a wheelchair. Especially when we go to crowded areas, it's impossible to walk without getting stopped by people. But the joy of seeing them happy and healthy, it, it really is uncomparable to anything else. So we carry on and do the best that we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pets who have been abandoned, who are looking for their forever homes. So all along, I've always wanted to adopt rather than buy because of this uh, reason. I think first you have to consider how much time that you have to put in, especially your family if everyone is on board. Because if you are not available, someone else has to step in. So it's like you have to communicate with like everyone that you are living with, you know, be more efficient in doing things. You must make sure that you really think through financially if you are capable. It is a very fulfilling thing and also you will really realize how much patience you have and how much compassion you can give 